Hello and welcome to Six Little Lambs. Today's the day I go collect my new bike. Eight days in the waiting, eight days walking, but I'm going to get my new bike. I'll take you along to Halfords with me this time. It's gonna be fun. Out on the first part of my walk, which is a very long day to Aintree. Um, and you have to take public transport. It's not the best, but it's all that we have in our life. So, right now, it's off to public transport, get me bike, and then I can cycle my bike away from the public transport all the way home. Um, the rain's just started, but I can't wait to go, I'm sweating. Um, so, I'm just on my way anyway. I'll keep you posted along the journey, I'm sure. Take you with me, let you see my new wheels. It's not lucky this time though. My lucky bike broke twice. Um, the first one went with six weeks, the back wheel went, took it back, waited eight weeks for a new bike. And um, had that one seven weeks and the back wheel broke on that. So if anyone has watched my previous video, I would not recommend the career across city at all to anybody. It is awful. Manufacturer's bike is a joke. And do you know what? It was quick. I'm not going to say it wasn't. It, it, it was quick. It just wasn't designed for the streets of Liverpool. So, I'll, anyway, I'll bring you into the day. Bye. Finally hit the train. We're on our way. Got my mask. All protected. See you when I get to me stop. Just at Halfords, waiting for my new bike to come out. 10 minutes wait, because they hadn't put the um, mug guards on there for me, or the other little bobs that I needed to be put on that I bought for and paid for to be done for my collection day. But 10 minutes is not bad. Here's my bike. Just the red light, please, darling, and the bike lock. The rest I'm taking home with me. That's all right, I'm just vlogging, don't worry about me. Um, so, just stand and waiting for my bike. And then I'll give you a full tour of it, and hopefully, I've got a bike to be proud of. Yeah, yeah. They asked what light I wanted on my bike. I want the red one because I've got a USB charge white one for the front. But the red one broke by the time bringing Carrera in and out, in and out, in and out. And can you actually believe they're still selling that piece of shit in here? And as you can see, it was a thousand pounds. But mine was crap. Mine broke. Right, well, I'm here waiting and I will come back to you once I've got my bike. Yay. I couldn't record in Halfords because it was too chocker, but I've just got back to the train station soaked. Uh, I've just got my new wheels. The Carrera Vengeance 2020. Has disc brakes. Has anti-puncher tyres. 26 gears. Yeah, I'll let you know what it's got when I get home. I'm just waiting for a train right now. Um, and then once I'm on the train, we're ready to go home. So I'll see you all soon. Just on the canal. And my shoes are wrecked, my pants are wrecked, mud splattered all up my coat. Like I said, that wouldn't happen because they had mud guards. Well, I'm fuming. Fuming! The flying down the canal ain't so bad if you dodge the puddles and the trees and the water. So, I'll give you a tour of my dirty bike when I get home off this canal. Hi, everybody, just arrived home after being on the canal. You'll see some of that because I've got some footage for you. Um, but this is my bike. I'm a little bit fuming. You hide the seat too far up. Told me he couldn't adjust the handlebars to the same height as the seat so I had to ride like a bent over. But do you reckon that's how you get air resistance? But yeah, look, he put all my stuff on, on my seat. Instead of putting it on the bar like a normal person. But yeah, other than that, it's really nice. Do a little slow around for you. You can take it all in. Tried to black me that the petals were metal as, metal as well. I had to give the guy a little bit of instructions. I know they're not metal, I read the reviews. He's like, no, they are metal. I said, they're not. They're plastic mixed with a little bit of carbon, made it look like the metal effect, but they're not metal, they're actually plastic. Wait till they hit your knee, you'll know the metal. I said, mate, I know they're not metal. But the guy wouldn't take it on board. But you know, 
it on the um, Halfords website. It tells you the pedals are actually plastic, but we won't go there with that. Um, Carrera down the bar, you can't really see because the way he's put them up guard, which I'm going to move it a bit higher. Um, and the bars are not straight, they're wonky. As you can see, he's got a little X here. All he had to do was follow the line. But I had to ride home with wonky handlebars. I did take the £25 care, but I felt like I didn't want him to touch my bike anymore. I'd rather touch it myself. Um, but there's my bike anyway. I'll come back when I've fixed it up and made it look a little bit better. Now it's a few days later. I thought I'd show you the bike now. I've put my stuff where it should go properly. Um, so here it is. My new bike. So here it is. The Canada Vengeance from Halfords. If you don't know about my other bike, it did break. I had two um, off them, but they both broke. I had the same problem with the back wheel and the spokes, but then they refunded me in vouchers, so I had to buy a new bike, no matter what. So here it is. Yay, it's got an alloy frame. It's quite light, actually, not too bad. I can lift it with my finger. Wife has to lift it with two hands, but I can lift it with my finger. Sports. The black. I quite like them actually. I'm not gonna lie. And you're better than silver. And then you got your disc brakes. Which they say the mechanical. Break by a wire, but it's a break. Give me wheels. 27.5 inch. And the anti um, pop. Anti puncher. So they said it's got extra anti puncher layer. But the Kenda tyres, they're quite nice actually. Um, the Kenda's on the other side. But yeah, quite nice. I like them. But there it is, put my bike lock down the bottom where it should have went. It wouldn't fit around the bottom of the frame. Um, still debating whether to keep the mud guard or not. I need to tighten the seat a bit more. But it's nice. Would I go back to Halfords to buy another bike? Probably not. But for the price, £325, not bad. Not bad at all. Okay, so I'm going to end the vlog here. Now you've seen me bike. Any questions, pop them down below. I'm sure I'll answer. Bye.